The sky is clear. Temperatures will get into the low to mid 80s, but front arrives right around dawn tomorrow. That front is going to make things windy and cool only in the 60s for the high Wednesday. Thursday morning we wake up in the 40s and highs will only be in the 50s. Just some sprinkles and drizzle on Thursday night, so not much rain in the forecast. And then we'll be looking at a high temperature back into the 80s on Saturday and near 80 on Sunday. So nice weekend. In yeah, store for us. all the guys took the day off. The weather was so nice. I guess so. Yeah, they're out there working on their tans. Yeah, we let them go. <laughs> <laughs> we did all right. That's our show for today. SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, we get a lesson in chemistry. A local distiller shares the skills to make whiskey, vodka, and gin. That is an important part of being Mexican. We mix like everything, the language, the food. We created new kinds of perspectives. Life Becomes Art, a new free art exhibition is blending nostalgic pop culture moments with Mexican culture. And this pizza is head banging good. We check out a new pizzeria with rock and roll vibes and we cut you a slice of good deals for kids. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. National Pokemon Day. Yes, this is the day Pokemon was first introduced back in 1996, 96. taking the world by storm. Wow, 1996, mm -hmm. I thought it went back far further. But okay, so we have some fun facts for you about Pokemon. Pokemon means pocket monsters. Did I you know did that? Not I know didn't know that. that. I didn't know that either. So Pokemon is an abbreviation of Poketo Mansuta, mm -hmm. which means pocket monster in Japanese because they fit in your pocket, of course. Okay. That makes sense, yes. but I did not know that. No, okay, I'm either. sure true Pokemon fans might know some of these, <laughs> but uh, Pikachu directly translates as sparkly mouse noise because Pika mm. is from Pika Pika, which means glitter or sparkle, and Chu is from Choo Choo, the noise a mouse makes. Or, or a train in my head. But <laughs> <laughs> you said Pika Pika, I'm thinking Pika Pika Plaza. Pika, 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 Pika. <laughs> Choo -choo okay. Like a train. Wow. Totally All different. these connections. Okay. Yes. The colors of Pokeballs are actually based on Campbell's soup cans. Did you know these? Okay. No. Nope. Wow. Okay. The famous Pokeball is actually meant to mimic the look of a soup can. Specifically, the tomato soup cans. They appear in Andy Warhol's famous picture. I wow. mean, look, look at how much we're learning. I know. At the top of the show, yes. we're finding out when we do, you guys. Okay. So since they were first released in 1998, not Pokemon, but the cards released in 1998, over 30 billion Pokemon cards have been sold wow. worldwide. Wow, no, I believe 30 it. 30 billion. I believe it, so my son Ooh. is one of those, like, oh. well, he stopped. It was a phase, but He's yeah. got a billion of yeah. them? Oh yeah, now they're just <laughs> sitting in the like closet. That. Yeah, but I have to trade a card, Mom, so yeah. So oh, well, if they're sitting in the closet. I know, now I'm, next I might dead. go home and do that first thing. Yes, the rare Pokemon cards that was sold, the rarest one was worth over a hundred thousand Dollars. I will be in the closet, Fiona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will be checking all of that. Yes. I'll know rare. when I text you and you don't respond back. I know that's where Taking you are. Taking the week off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. And the rare Pokemon cards include number one trainer, which sold in 2020 for 90 Thousand. I'm in the wrong business, y'all. Okay. Closet. Apparently, there's only a handful in existence, meaning that it is potentially the rarest Pokemon card ever. That's Check so Check your cards, cool. though, guys. Yes, yes, if you have them. Oh, good I'm afternoon. Nice. <laughs> I'm Fiona Gorsiza. Yes, and I am Jen Tobias in for Mike. And so we got us thinking, mm -hmm. right? We're talking about all this childhood fun connections yeah. about your childhood cartoon. That favorite one maybe you watched on a Saturday morning? What was yours? Yes. Okay. So let's see. I loved Care Bears, oh, Rainbow Bright, yes. Smurfs, He-Man, She-Ra, must I go on? I love Those them are all. all great, yes. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, yes. you know, yes. all of them. My brother, you? my brother loves Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, I didn't watch it, okay? <laughs> Get away from me, little brother. Okay, I, uh, mine was Rugrats. Oh, remember Rugrats? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Doug. Do you remember Doug? That Doug. one too. Nickelodeon. Doug. Yeah. Nickelodeon. So those. Let us know yours and scan that QR code on the screen. We may share some of them later in the show. All right. It's a new pizza joint with a menu that your whole family can rock out to. Joining us are the co-owners of Rock and Roll Pizzeria SA, Mike Wendura and Tori Bassett. 
Welcome. Like, Welcome. Like on. Yeah. I know. Right? <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> Welcome. 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 Okay. So what did you bring today? All right. Well, we're going to start over here. This is a pasta with some meatballs. My wife makes these meatballs fresh in store daily. Oh, well, my wife came up with the recipe. Some other staff members also make it. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is uh, some wings that we have. We make those fresh from scratch. Uh, start with raw wings. We bake them and then we um, fry them to order and then we sauce them. This here is a uh, Italian sub. Uh, it's got lunch meats uh, and then some uh, vegetables, of course, uh, covered with Italian dressing. Uh, we've got some cannoli over there. That's one of our desserts. Uh, we also have a tiramisu, but this one's here, a cannoli. It's got a uh, cream that we make in store as well. Okay. Over there, we've got some uh, slip knots or garlic <laughs> knots uh, with some marinara served on the side. And that over there, there's a stromboli. Uh, it's got some lunch meats in it, some sauce and some mozzarella cheese. And then this here is a margarita pizza, mm. which we call a Jimmy Buffett. We're going to have an opportunity to build that over here later. Okay. All right. So, um, brick oven? Yes, we have a brick oven. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you're going to get yeah, started we're gonna on get that. Started over here. Love the fun names. Let's talk so over I, here. I, I, Mike, yes, you have to tell me uh, the concept behind rock and roll pizza. Obviously, you're music lovers. We're, we're music lovers. <clears throat> My partner, Tori's in a, in a band. Uh, I happen to be uh, anything and everything, all 80s, all the time. <laughs> uh, so it was a match made in heaven. Uh, we, we worked together for many years. Uh, gave us the opportunity to kick around ideas, and so uh, finally came to fruition. Rock and Roll Pizza was born. And as I said earlier, I love all the fun names that you have. That's probably one Pretty of cool the fun names, things right? about yeah. coming up with the names. So where do the recipes come from, other than Joni, <laughs> his wife? Uh, yeah. Years of working together, talking mm -hmm. about different ideas. Uh, Joni helps bring those to life. Nice. So. Uh, yeah, she, she's she's phenomenal. Yes, and then you guys also have, uh, you can have parties there. We do, we have quite a bit. Uh, if you uh, have a, a, a staff meeting, uh, birthday parties, you just want to come out for a nice quiet dinner, mm -hmm. uh, we do it all there. And veteran owned, right? So yes, tell me more about that. Well, Tori uh, spent uh, many years in the Air Force. I was in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. uh, we both uh, did stints uh, in recruiting duty. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so uh, we are proud to be veteran owned. We offer uh, military first responder discounts to um, uh, patrons when they come in. And next month's exciting because you have some specials. First of all, thank you for your service, both of you. Appreciate it. And you have specials next month as well that you're kicking off. I'm excited. We are. And we're getting our feet under us. Uh, you know, we're a traditional mom and pop uh, pizzeria. Uh, not a lot of staff, but we're going to kick off March with a pizza of the month. And, and then on Tuesdays, we're gonna allow, uh, we'll do Kids Eat Free on Tuesdays. Kids Eat Free, you hear that Fiona? Kids Eat Free, that's oh. awesome. <laughs> yes, and then next month's pizza, you said it will be named after, I'll well, let you we, tell us. We, we did, we, we're naming it, it's gonna be our uh, taco mm -hmm. pizza. Uh, so we have to give it a rock and roll name uh, in honor of the death of Selena. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to uh, do a taco pizza and name it uh, for the beef, we're gonna go with the Santana. And if you want a chicken taco pizza, it's gonna be named the Selena. That. The names Absolutely. are so fun. Right? How's, how's it going over there? How'd well, she do? She did great. great. She did great. Yeah. Looks beautiful. I was told don't be shy with the garlic, so yes. watch out. Yeah. Yes. That, What's the secret? The secret to great pizza, guys. Uh, what would you say? Uh, just you have a good sauce, a, a good dough, mm -hmm. and um, you know the toppings are, of course, it, every person's got a different opinion, but this one in particular has just got some I'm mozzarella going. cheese and some basil. Uh -huh. So what is the most popular <laughs> item? Uh, honestly, it's probably the Rick Rolls, which are a pizza roll. Uh -huh. uh, it's mozzarella cheese and pepperoni wrapped, wrapped in dough. So oh they're my super goodness. popular. All right. And for those who may not know, where are you guys located? We're located at uh, 16350 Blanco Road, which is uh, in between Bitters and 1604 uh, in the Mission Ridge Shopping Center. So I have to ask you guys, what, what concert are you going to? Anyone? Up Coming up soon. My next I know concert is uh, Noah Khan, I believe. Uh, he's a little folky little guy from Vermont. It's pretty okay. fantastic. Okay. And then I think uh, we're, we're uh, secured some Creed tickets. Yeah, nice. Creed. We're going to see Creed. Creed. Yes. <laughs> okay, music lovers, obviously. Great food. Go visit them. Again, Blanco and. Uh, uh, Blanco and Bitters. There you uh, go. In between uh, Bitters and 1604. Okay. It's delicious. Great for birthdays, so good. special occasions, mm -hmm. all of it, right? We do it all. <laughs> if you're going to bring a big group, give us a call. Okay. We'll make sure we have uh, tables reserved for you. Thank, Thank you, you so Mike. Much, Thank you, Tori. 
For Thank more you. information on Rock and Roll Pizzeria SA, just head to salive.com. Click on the Ask the On SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. All right, we are so excited today to share a new exhibition right here at Centro de Arte San Antonio with Froy Padilla, known as Efe de Froy on social media. He's mixing nostalgic pop culture moments with Mexican culture. And these are pieces that you'd see in the streets of Oaxaca, tying in different social issues while connecting all cultures with mm -hmm. art. Take a look. I love that the people come and see all this aspect of colors, like it was a huge labor and when they realize it's like, this is a little part from my Oaxaca, but you can see it in here in this, in this place. What you're gonna find in here is these icons in Mexico, in Oaxaca, Mexico, we have this story that uh, John Lennon and George Harrison go and visit Maria Sabina, that is a sacerdotist for, for the mushroom things. And I put like the, this aspect of a religious person, I don't know how to say, La Oriola de, que es un santo, that is uh, for me the best song from John Lennon, that is Imagine. Semiotic symbols like, like a virgin that is talking about double more in our society or you can find either still like it's from Pulp Fiction and it's to the left side is Pedro Infante and the right side is Jorge Negrete and I call this piece Tiempos de Amor Violento it's like a violent modern love times where you where do you prefer the romantic way with roses more physical or the pokes with <laughs> oh, sorry or fire with the uh, new applications and social media. No? You can put uh, idols between switching the scenes from the greatest movies and recognize through the generations, say, oh my God, I identify that the scene from Pulp Fiction, but who are those guys? It's like, get curious to the people talking about uh, the union that we have, uh, mixing both cultures, because that is an important part of being Mexican. We mix like everything, the language, the food, we create created new kinds of perspectives and that's what I want to tell to all the people like through the art how we make this connection. Audrey Hepburn, but <laughs> the, the body, but with Frida Kahlo at breakfast at Oaxaca. And I kind of switch like through messages, through aspect of, of movies that I, I love. I work with different like materials, aspects. You can find these uh, steels behind Dorothy, that is a material that the houses of the low income people, like the poor people, are made of and these are like the caps of the sodas or beers were transforming in you can find these little tiny houses building in that material so it's like the concern about what's happening without uh, good houses for the people so you can come by with your parents, your friends, and if you are kind of nostalgic person, you're going to find a lot of aspects and elements that you're, you're going to like it. So uh, this is the invitation uh, to come to Centro de Artes to take a look at the exhibit. And if you have some kind of questions, if you are doing art, if you are doing something that generate questions, you can find me in the social networks as Efe de Freud and thank you very much guys for this interview having me and I hope you enjoy the exhibition again the exhibit runs through June so you have plenty of time and it's free right it's a great perk there so go check it out with your friends and family right here in historic Market Square not too far from where we're at right now Centro de Artes and for more information you can head to our website salive.com click the as seen on SA Live tab where we've provided his handle for his social media accounts. So keep up with him. And SA Live continues with spring break count options for your kids. Don't miss out on these fun opportunities and one of them was only $3 per child. Mm, that's a great deal. All right, and an unforgettable meal at unbelievable prices. David Elder takes us to a spot where you can fill up on comfort food. That's next on SA Live.
Welcome back to Essence Live. It's comfort food at unbelievable prices with some of the best brunch in town. Yes, David Elder with Texas Eats gives us a taste of a local restaurant that has a pay what you can menu and it's all for a good cause. We're in San Antonio off Bandera Road to pay a visit to a restaurant where you, get this, can pay what you can for each item on the menu. Let's check out Comfort Cafe. You got national acclaim. Yeah, I mean, best brunch. Which, without alcohol, blows my mind. <laughs> like Right. With one location in Smithville and two in San Antonio, all proceeds from Comfort Cafe go to the nonprofit Serenity Star, which offers an environment for individuals and families to help recover from addiction. This menu is just out of control. I'd say this is probably the wildest, craziest <laughs> menu in all of San Antonio and surrounding cities when you're talking about breakfast and yeah. brunch. There's no prices on any of this. Nope. So we help families recover from addiction. Everyone you see in the program, your servers, your cooks, your uh, hosts, all part of the program. And you've actually, you got national acclaim. Yeah. I mean, best brunch. Which, without alcohol, blows my mind. This first one right here, because you got the sweets, though, and the yep. savory items are available as well. Talk to me about what's going on in this sandwich. Texas Philly is um, prime rib, and it's onions, peppers, jalapenos, cheddar, all put together. Cheers to you. Cheers. All right, the Texas Philly. Everything is fresh. We're only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now the sweets, and you have so many different options. So many. But I tell you what, this one right here in the front, it's a pancake flight, and you have three different kinds of pancakes yes, on there. Talk do. to me about each one. So today we have the peanut butter, bacon, Oreo, and a brown sugar pecan. And this one changes weekly. And then a loaded waffle right here. Yeah. And then look at how pretty this one is. You said this one's peanut butter? Peanut butter, bacon. Here you go, cheers. Cheers. That's heaven. Mm. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen. Yeah. Who are we gonna go in with and what are we gonna make so with y'all? So Brandon is our head chef making a stuffed French toast. I think it's an Oreo. Come on. <laughs> now, I'm gonna bring this one with me, okay? Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start with our actual French toast bread. Oh. This is specific for our French toast. It's bigger than Texas bread. So we're gonna use our homemade cream cheese filling. All right, so once we have it spread out on here, we're gonna go ahead and go to our Oreo crumbles. As you're doing that, I'm gonna drop it in our French toast mix. You got that golden brown, and you didn't let anything get too far over. So we're gonna pull it off here and take it over to be plated. Oh, wonderful. So cutting each of these little sandwiches into quarters. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, look at the Oreo on the inside. What a gorgeous texture on there. Oh my God. out to the new location which is actually off Bandera which is where the original location was at as yeah. well and it's just it's full circle for the restaurant too coming Absolutely. back to where you started you guys comfort cafe this is where it's at this is exceptional wow yum all right how well do you know what you're drinking we break down three popular spirits so you can find your drink of choice like a pro Plus, ditch the glasses, not drink glasses, your regular glasses and contacts. Get ready for a spring break with improved vision from a life-changing eye procedure. Regardless of your plans, you'll be seeing it all clearly. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, spring break is almost here, and you know what? 
I wish I had done this sooner. That's what folks are saying about a service here in San Antonio that can help you see without glasses or contacts. And there's a huge spring break discount if you act today. We're talking about Z LASIK with Manrique Custom Vision. And here with everything you need to know is Director of Operations, Richard Doinoff. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Fiona. All right, so who is a candidate for Z LASIK? Um, if you wear glasses or contacts, you have nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism, about 95% of the time, Doc can help you with that. All right, and what makes Z-LASIK different? What sets it apart? Well, first off, Doc's a tra the only trainer in the Air Force, but Dr. Manrique considers it the least invasive out of all the technologies, and the main thing about it is it's totally blade and pain-free, and it only takes about 10 seconds an eye to make you see correctly. So about 10 seconds an eye, not long at all, okay, and what is the recovery like? Is it just as fast? I, I remember like yesterday I did the old stuff. You get up and you actually see 20 foot away immediately. You go home and sleep for a couple hours, wake up, and it's usually done with it. That's it. And that's it. And we said earlier, your customers are always saying, I wish I had done this sooner. Okay, tell us about their reactions. It, it's amazing. If you look at the Facebook page or our Google reviews or whatever, when they get up off of the laser and they can see across the room all the way out there, and they all say, because most of the guys I've talked to before, and they're like, why didn't I do it like five, ten years ago? The big reason is you see so much clearer than you do out of glass and contacts. And also, if you had started paying on it eight years ago, to, you wouldn't have had glasses and been out of it. You wouldn't have been paying anything if, after about two, three years on them anyway. And you're seeing some of those reviews go by. And some people are, you know, they've been wearing glasses or contacts for decades. You know, 30 plus years wearing these glasses. And they're saying this completely changed their life for the better. I mean, absolutely life-changing. And, you know, just getting through every day has got to be so, like, just incredibly different. Uh, do you offer financing? Yeah, but we had a meeting last night. I don't want to bore you about this, but we're still one of only five in the U.S. that has 36 months interest-free, of course, with your good credit. Uh, we take medical spending accounts, flexible spending accounts. Unfortunately, insurance does not pay for this. A lot of your right. viewers ask because it's an elective surgery. But we have payment plans that are suitable for most needs. Okay, and everyone is a VIP when they walk in the door, right? Yeah, you don't have to be Fiona. You know, you can <laughs> or when, Mike or Mike or Jen. Or Jen. Uh, when you when you when you come in, um, I like. I, I mean, we treat everybody the same. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that you're there. We know that some people have different different levels of nervousness or whatever, right. and we have a lot of empathy. So we're on, we're on standby and we'll help you out through every, every step of the way. <laughs> All right, we have a special deal that you've been seeing there on your screen for folks watching right now, right? Absolutely, up to $1,500 off your Z LASIK procedure. Uh, you can scan that QR code, my staff standing you. by. Look at you reading the small print from way over here. It did work, Richard. And I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> or text LASIK 245384 and we'll get a hold of you right away. <laughs> Look at you go. All right. Enrique Custom Vision Center is on La Cantera Parkway on the northwest side. Call now or scan that QR code to schedule your complimentary VIP consultation and get the spring discount on Z LASIK. That's up to $1,500 off for qualified eyes. The number to call is on your screen, 210-354-2020. Or as you just heard Richard said, text LASIK to 45384. Richard, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Well, it is time for fun. Spring break is almost here, and we have a list of spring break camps that'll keep your kids active and learning. What's your spirit of choice when you order that cocktail? Is it gin, vodka? Well, we're teaming up with a local distillery today to learn some fun facts before you order that next drink. My question, what's the difference between bourbon and whiskey? We're gonna find out, stay with us. Live. Well, our next guest distills many local spirits that you can enjoy, but the question is, how do you know which spirit is the one for you? It is a good day. <laughs> We're going to find out. I'm a little intimidated, I'm not going to lie. Okay, Nick Spink, owner and distiller of Artisan Distilling, has a beginner's guide, right? And a lot of fun facts that we learn. No, if we are about. advanced. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's good to have a good The solid. difference between advanced and that. <laughs> Whoa. A beginner will do that, <laughs> okay? Do that. So but it's good to have a solid foundation, right? Solid foundation. Okay, so let's start with vodka and how it's made. Vodka is actually the real easiest one. It's the most pure form. Anything that's fermented can be distilled. It is the most pure form of alcohol. It is also the most easy to be used on cocktails. And on any of these, if you want to taste stuff like that, think about 
like you're a chef. Taste a little bit, you know, use your nose, use your tongue, but think about just trying a little bit to figure out how to use it. So oh, just, I see. if you are advanced, <laughs> there you go. That's for you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mom. So my um, the uh, rule of thumb when you're doing cocktails on vodka, you do one part of alcohol to two parts of mix. Okay. On gin and on whiskeys, you do the opposite, two parts of alcohol to one part mix. Ah, uh, so is that why people feel that could be woozier? I feel, I feel like Which that's Which could make stronger. you woozier. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And I only had one sip. <laughs> but, yeah. By the way, all these are made on site here at Artisan Distillery. Um, the second one we're going to talk about is gin. Gin is actually basically a vodka, but then you put juniper and other herbs in it so you can taste more green mm -hmm. or it can be, taste more florally. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then it's more green or herby. It tastes like a Christmas tree. At least oh, for me. Gotcha. So you prefer so. florally? I prefer, yes. Flowery. I, it's hard I, to say. Flowery. Florally. 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 It's okay. Every time he says gin, Flowery. I think gin. Okay. And I like gin. flowers, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is gin. Gin, gin. Okay. So Got the big thing that a lot of people are getting into is the gins now and the whiskeys and stuff. So can either of y'all tell me the difference between bourbon and whiskey? My mom calls bourbon the poor man's whiskey. Why is that? <laughs> Well, some of it can be even more expensive and stuff like that. But, right. but bourbon is actually a whiskey. It's a subcategory of whiskey. It's made in the U.S., 51% corn, and aged in first-use barrels or virgin barrels. Okay. So that's why it's a little sweeter. It's a 51% corn. Mine's corn, wheat, and rye. But mine's aged two years and stuff like that. And, and oops. And, you know, you can try it if you want. So. I'll smell it. <laughs> and then, yes. Jen, what was it that you had him say earlier? How is every whiskey... Um, oh yeah, so every whiskey is... Every bourbon is a whiskey, but every whiskey is a bourbon. Every whiskey is not a bourbon? No. Every Wait, bourbon yes. is a whiskey, whiskey, and not every whiskey is a bourbon. There we go, okay. So scotch is also a whiskey. Right. So like on the labels, it'll say scotch whiskey. And it'll whiskey. say that, it'll say It'll say there. scotch okay. whiskey on the label. So, and why, why is it, I feel like more people order whiskey on the rocks than they do any other, is that, is that? It's just it? more of a traditional thing, yeah. you'll, have, you'll have vodka people do that, but uh, mm -hmm. very much of a tradition on being neat, which means right. what you're drinking now, or mm -hmm. straight means uh, like the big uh, ice cubes and stuff like that. Little ice cubes will melt quicker. Yeah. But then I also have a four-year-old pecan aged whiskey, so I actually Ooh. aged this with pecan wood in the barrel itself, and it has a nice, um, more of a woodsy, dry, dry note to it. Um, yeah. Like a raw pecan, so I actually put wood of pecan into the barrel itself. So when you are choosing, especially at home, when you're choosing what you want now in addition to this, which I do not make, I do not make tequila, I, didn't, I do not make rum, but I only can sell what I make on site. Right. On all those, it all depends on what your palate is. Think of like if you're a home cook, just taste it a little bit to figure out how to use it. And if you cook with it in a pot or something mm -hmm. like that, no alcohol stays. You burn it, it it's burnt off immediately. Oh. So. And the aging process yeah. has a lot to do with the aging right? process. You'll, how it you'll see a big color difference. So um, that's a two year and that's oh, a four year. So you'll see, see the aging uh, on that. And oh, that's what makes it. So when you put it into the barrel, it is actually clear. What? The thing that comes out is all it the wood and wood. everything like that. Oh so my the gosh. older the better, or it just depends on your palate? It depends yes. on your palate. Gosh, yeah. everything it depends. can be stronger, I'm it can learning. be stronger. But just because an alcohol tastes strong doesn't mean it's higher higher percentage of alcohol. If you go, go something cheap uh, or less expensive, a lot of them taste stronger, but they all, they can be all the same amount of alcohol. All right. Good to know. Thank, wow. thank you Not so much. And of course, a lot of events happening. Be sure to check his social media and his website to find out if he's got comedy shows, he's got people performing, so all sorts of fun having over there, and some theme nights as well. So for more information on Artisan Craft Bar and these locally made spirits, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Ian on SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. We'll need something fun for your kids to do during spring break from steam camp to outdoor activities and even DJ camp. We share a list of spring break camps that your kids will love. And right now, okay, the question we have for you today, what was your favorite childhood cartoon? Muppet oh, Babies, yes. yes. <laughs> they make your dreams come true. <laughs> And the Flintstones. Oh, yes, I'll yep. another good one. Mm -hmm. Y'all are taking me back. Yes. <laughs> and Eric, Space Ghost? Wait, Space Ghost? <laughs> I don't know that one. That's okay. Time. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome back.
back to SA Live at Historic Market Square. Well, spring has just about sprung, and spring break is right around the corner. That was a lot of alliteration. <laughs> and it feels <laughs> nice and warm. It does feel like spring out there. So what are you going to do with your kiddos? We have a list mm -hmm. of some spring break camps that you can sign them up for starting right now, and they're all here in San Antonio. All right, Yippie Coyote is a pop-up performing arts program for kids of all ability levels with the Public Theater of San Antonio. They have a spring break camp from March 11th through the 15th. Campers will be able to play their theater games and learn the basics of acting. How cool is that? While making props and set pieces, it all ends with a final performance for friends and family. Well, Girls Inc. of San Antonio is inviting girls to STEAM camp. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. They have different themes for different age groups, including wild and wacky weather, exploring natural disasters, and workforce ready. It runs March 11th through the 15th. The Carver Community Cultural Center is teaming up with the AM Project to offer, this is really cool, a DJ camp for spring break. The music industry pros will teach kids the fundamentals of music, production, and DJ skills like beat matching, pitch play, sampling, and slicing. I don't know what that is, but you know, it sounds cool. Sounds yeah, so cool. I know. Along with songwriting, branding, and more. It's from March 11th through the 15th as well, and it all ends with a DJ camp after party where each student DJ performs a set of their own creation. That is not really cool. Camps like that I know. I See, okay. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> the city of San Antonio is hosting a Power Up Spring Break Camp, and it's just, get this, $3 per kid. It's an immersive experience where mind, body, and soul come together through hands-on activities like sports, fitness, games, and more. It's going to be held at different locations around town from March 11th through the 15th, lunch and snack is included. Oh, that's nice. Okay, want to be a basketball star? Spurs Sports Academy offers a variety of spring break camps for kids from 7 to 14 who love to shoot hoops. Their fundamentals camp is from March 11th through the 14th at Mission Conception Sports Park and kids of all skill levels are welcome. We have links to sign up for all of these camps on our website. It's on your screen, salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. And next, it's an organization that's helping those in our community with eating disorders. It's Eating Disorder Awareness Week, and we shed some light on what this means and how it affects people right here in our community. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we are bringing resources to those in need. Dr. Susan Menden from Esperanza Eating Disorder Center joins me with helpful information on National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So, I mean, eating disorders have the second highest mortality rate of all psychiatric illnesses. Absolutely, That's they do. Huge. It's it's second to, only to opioid use. Wow. Okay, so let people know what this week is about. This week is a week where those of us who specialize in eating disorders and the National Alliance mm -hmm. of Eating Disorders and all the centers for eating disorder treatment are trying to provide awareness and of, of what an eating disorder is by breaking some of the myths. People right. don't really know. People think eating disorders are addictions. They're not addictions. They're mental illnesses and they're serious mental illnesses. So that's what we're doing this week is trying to get the word out. And that, I mean, I know a lot of people that would not even think that, that would, including myself, that it is a mental illness versus an addiction, as you said. So what does Esperanza Eating Disorder Center do? We are a partial hospital for the treatment of eating disorders. We treat ages 13 and older. We treat all the eating disorders and we are gender inclusive. We also have a multidisciplinary team because it takes a multidisciplinary team of psychiatrists, physicians, uh, mental health uh, clinicians, uh, dietitians, and ancillary people like tutors to work with the teenagers that have eating disorders. So we have a whole team that provides evidence-based treatment for eating disorders. As you said, it takes a village. Yes. Now let's talk about some of those treatments. Some of, the, they can help. some of the treatments that help are evidence-based. One, um, the dietary component is very important. It's not about the food, but it's about how a person thinks about the food or eats the food, uh, whether not eating the food at all or overeating the food. And so our dietitians provide uh, intuitive dietary uh, 
a specialty really, it's right. specialty training, and teaching someone how to eat intuitively. Also how to eat mechanically when they're undoing the eating disorder initially. Um, we also have some evidence-based treatments, and I've been doing this a long time, and right. evidence-based treatments only really came out about 20 years ago, and so people can really recover. Um, and so we provide those evidence-based treatments of DBT ACT, um, and how they work in just a nutshell is instead of not eating or right. eating, you use something called a skill to help you have effective behavior of either eating or not, no, or, or not overeating. And you mentioned you've been doing this a long time, so you're a certified eating disorder specialist consultant, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you know you know what you're talking about, <laughs> all right? And I know you have a couple of upcoming events as well, so they can check uh, your website for that. For more information on Esperanza Eating Disorder Center, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link to their website, so you can find that information on the upcoming events. There's one in April, there's one in May, uh, or, and, or you can just scan that QR code right there on your screen. Tomorrow on SA Live, a simple recipe that took off. A local chef makes her signature dish that went viral on social media. See what makes it so special. And it's a San Antonio staple known for their puffy tacos. We take you inside the original Henry's Puffy Taco to see what keeps people coming back for generations. That's all tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, so earlier we asked you, what was your favorite childhood cartoon? Scan that QR code and weigh in from Chrissy. Yes, He-Man oh, and She-Ra. He I love them both. Y'all are <laughs> sending me back to childhood. Yes, Pokemon, Pokemon, of course, Tomcat, thank yes. you. All right, from Avery. Avery. Who's Avery? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's Avery right here. SpongeBob SquarePants, yes. <laughs> that's a good one, Avery. Christina, oh, strawberry shortcake. Good one. Oh, Sailor Moon yes. from Susan. Guys, yeah. This is good. Yes, my kids love Peppa Pig. All right, so we leave you with a feel good story. Thousands of runners from all over the country participated in the Disney Princess Half Marathon this past Sunday in Florida, including some Texans. Two people from our area made the top three in the wheelchair division. Lyndon Williamson from Seguin came in second, and Nicholas McCoy of Bernie oh, came in third. How cool. Yes, the three day awesome. event ended yesterday with a yoga event in front of Cinderella Castle there at Magic Kingdom. Oh, how cool is that to do? Wow. I, okay, I've never Look been. Have, have scenery. You, to Disney. I've never have been to Disney Sloan? World. No. I've been to Disneyland oh, okay. several times in California, but not Disney World. Well, shout out to mm -hmm. them. Great job in representing us yes. here in San Antonio. Too cool. All right. We'll see you here tomorrow at 1.